Do not ever come back here. Noted. I will not come back. But can you please answer the question? Leave! Silo! Ndiba si no bona via dromolila. O de mon wenaga. Any merchandise that is not good to be sold must be returned to wherever it is coming from. This is the same Ojugo you brought with you last night. I have returned it back to this oracle with seven additional kulanos to announce to the oracle that two Sinashi will never be married to this oracle. The oracle will not kill me. Because both of you who are the ambassadors of this oracle have not provided leadership. By answering simple question. We must know who is the man that is marrying the woman for real before we release the woman to be married. And as long as both of you are not willing to answer this question, understand it, that Osinash is not going anywhere. Then all ginger. The only thing you have done by this action, you have just made yourself a priest before this oracle. You are going to see what you seek. For how long must we continue to tolerate this insult before this oracle? For how long? If they fail to bring that Medino Sinachi before this oracle, I shall use my powers. Uncle, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Uncle. I'm not going to ask you where you're coming from because I already asked your father and he told me that you went to see your mother's younger sister in Eno Abonomi. And I know you're coming from there. Uncle, I don't know why you're asking after me. But if he has anything to do with getting married to the Oracle, then it's a no. The truth as it is now, is that you will never be married to any oracle. Yes. I told your father already, and I'm happy telling you the same thing. I don't understand. I thought you were in support of them. That was yesterday, my dear. And I did because I had no information of what maidens that are married to the deities and oracles. I had no information of what they face. I now have additional information on that subject and I'm telling you that there is nothing that will ever make you to be married to any deity or any oracle. So uncle, what are these additional information that you acquired that made you change your mind over that? <laughs> I, I do not know what you people are still doing here. I'm not owing any of you anything. Why are you behaving as if you're too smart when you're not? Whatever you're planning is not fair to the maidens of this land. We too have come here to register our oppositions to you. And we are going to sort you out very soon. <laughs> well, it's obvious that uh, you people have come here to provoke me to the point where I will rise and slap you. You may die in the process and they will say Ndubizu is a murderer. Now, I'm wiser than that. I want you all to leave my compound. Listen, this is not a joke. The news is everywhere that you want to go to Zuna and get a wife. Eh? You've even arranged that the elders should accompany you. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. Hey, don't, hey, hey, don't I have the right to, to, to pick any maiden from any of the villages in our kingdom or even other kingdoms? 
Don't I? Okay. Now you want to go to Zoom and pick a wife. Mm -hmm. How about all the maidens of this land that you've defiled? Yeah. Eh? Do you know how many maidens you've deceived here? Do you know? How can you just go to another village and go and get a wife? Eh? I'm going to make it. Okay. Um, Adama. And uh, what's that your name again? <laughs> Amaka. See, I'm a hunter in this land. And maidens cluster around me because they like my meat. Hey. So, will I be held responsible for their stupidity? We all are from Okwele Kingdom. And I can pick any maiden as a wife from any village. Mm. Have you heard about anything of it? About the power of a woman? No, I believe that in the power of a woman cannot bring me down because I did not rape anybody. Eh? Mm -hmm. You did not rape anybody. How are we so sure that you did not rape anybody like you claim? How? Uh, uh, see, 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 see. Uh, I have an, a very big occasion coming. I just want people to leave my compound so that I can concentrate. We shall leave this compound as you have said. After all, this compound has never been a wonderful place for any of the maidens of this land. But one more thing. Your fingers are burning. Coco. The agony and sorrow of all the maidens of this land that you have defied will visit you one after the other. You shall have no peace. You shall never rest till you die. Okay. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, Indy. This thing will not end here. I promise you, it will not end here. Mm. <laughs> Uh, uh, wait, listen, 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 push it, listen to me. Can I ask you a question? Am I the one who banished morality from Uma? Eh? I chose to marry from Uzuno because that is the only village where you can get a woman, a maiden who is decent enough to stay in their husband's house without opening their legs to other people. I thought you would just out, get out. Get out, get out! Come on, get out! Let's go. Move. It's only two elders I told this. Two elders I trust so much. Does it mean that men also gossip? The revelation was timely. There was a maiden married to the oracle that was revealed to me. And for three days, the priests of that same oracle tied her down in the bush and we were raping her. What's so big? I appeared. I was on the verge of, of, of releasing the maiden. And they attacked me. They nearly killed me. It then cleared from my eyes and it became clear to me that it is possible that this is what they are planning for my niece. And I already made up my mind that it will never happen. Mm. I am going to resist them with even the last drop of my blood. Mm. But Uncle. You took the colonel that left behind yesterday. <laughs> My dear, that was yesterday. When I met you coming back from Unabombe, I was actually returning from the oracle where I went to return the colonel back to the priests of the oracle. And I made it clear to the ambassadors of the oracle that my niece will never be given to their oracle. If they want a wife for the oracle, they, they have to look somewhere else. Hey, now you're born more. Uh -huh. ah, thank you, my daughter. Mm. Ah. Mm. Welcome. Yeah, no. Mm. No. Uh, are you back? Ah, I'm back. I'm so tired. Did you go to home? Yes. What's in that? No. What is this thing that I'm hearing? What do you do here? The rumor is everywhere in the market that our own Osinachi will be getting married to the oracle. 
<laughs> Almost all the people in the market we are discussing the same thing. I was told. My mother told me the loneliness that comes with being the wife of the oracle. And I kept wondering the fate of her Osinachi if she marries the oracle finally. No, Maka, my dear wife, do me one favor because there is still time. I want you to go back to the market. Gather all those rural merchants that were discussing that topic and tell them to their faces that their sisters will be the ones that will be married to the oracle. Not Osinachi, my niece. She has a man of Omaku that wants to marry her. And that man of Omaku must be the one that will be her husband. Osinashi, my niece, must never be married to any oracle. I like the boldness, my husband. Uh -huh. I like the boldness. Uh, Betty Nani, do you think you have what it takes to challenge the oracle? Mua. I see. I am the one who is getting married. I should choose a man for myself. And I know what I want. And certainly, getting married to a deity is not one of my plans at all. That's my girl. If they want a wife for the other, could they have to look somewhere else? I won't. I know you. Come on, Yaka. Amaka, do you know what I think? I think we should teach Indubis a very urgent lesson. He, he, he thinks that the maidens of this land cannot do anything to him. That's why he keeps... Let's teach him an urgent lesson. What kind of lesson will he teach such a man with that character? He said all the maidens cluster around him just because of his needs. He said he can go to any land to prove that it's the maidens that came for him. He never went to any of them. I thought about his claims. And I think they're partially right if you may ask me. Amaka, how can you possibly say that? How can you say he's partially? What do you mean partially right? Well, to you or all the maidens in this land, you may be thinking he's right. But to me, he is not right. He was the one that came for me. Amaka, believe me, he's the one that came for me now. Eh, am I going to lie to you again? Are you serious? Amaka, Indubizu came for He came for me. I never... Hey, tell me what happened. Why do you touch me like that? I don't like it. Don't touch me like that again. <laughs> Listen to me. When a man loves a woman, he goes out of his way to satisfy her lust and vanity. I have come here this morning to announce my love for you and my readiness to satisfy your lust and your vanity. Mm. I don't know what you mean. Hmm? But listen to me. My father will soon be back from checking his pants. Just go before he meets you here. Forget about your father. I know your father's time to be like the back of my hand. And I know that we still have one more hour. Listen, come. I put meat for you. Meat. See? Real meat. Good meat. It's yours. Take it. Take it. Take it. Just take it. See, let me tell you something. The best time to appreciate a woman's beauty is in the morning when the sun is just rising. At that moment, she has not enhanced her beauty. She's just the way, the natural way the creator made her. And I want to tell you the truth. I am not disappointed with what I've seen. You know what? Okay, thanks for the meat. I must admit that I like it. But you have to go now. Go before my father comes. No, 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 no. See, accept my gift of meat. Eh? As the one who eats the better part of everything I kill. Okay, accept it. Just like that. Have I also told you that the sun and the moon rise in your eyes? That same sun and the moon also set in your eyes. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Oh, this is beautiful. I, I can't believe you actually got me such an expensive gift. It's only fit for a queen. Queen? And that's what you are. A queen. Ada, my queen. Ada, let me tell you something. There's something in you that I have never ever seen in any other woman. You see, Ada? When you sing, you sing like an orchestra of angels. Mm -hmm. And when you dance, you dance like a mermaid. Oh. Come here. Listen. I see in you a total fulfillment of my dreams. Okay. Are you trying to say I'm good enough to be your wife? <laughs> you see this outfit I bought for you? I wouldn't have bought it for you if I didn't have so much love for you. But listen, the time is coming when that girl will be needed. I love you and I will always love you. All the nonsense he was saying the other day hey. that made his cluster around him because of his meat. He came to my father's house and professed love. As a matter of fact, he was so serious that I, I hey, look at me now. I, I, I regret ever having anything to do with him. My dear, I believe that other maidens were also caught in the same web of deception. He lied his way into the hearts of other maidens. Yes. Now you understand. See, let us beat him. If we beat him up, it will send a clear warning to whoever is nursing the same idea in their mind. They lure our women into their bed. Let us beat him up. Maka, let's beat him up. Eh? See, it is a war that we must wage against them. Jesus. Maka, what am I saying? Hey! Is that not the, the dreaded Ojima staff? Amaka, see, people do not carry that staff except they first sacrifice a maiden. Does that mean that they've killed a maiden? I also know that any man carrying that staff must not be alone. And why is he alone? Amaka, let's go. Why is he Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There are men who believe that they are standing with people. Whereas they are standing alone. Daughters of Umaku should not gather to discuss the end of a man who is standing alone. One more thing. When you get to meet the king, tell him that there were kings before him who ruled the people and warmed their ways into the hearts of the people because they established the truth. They never dismissed anyone. Because they knew that the people were important. Go! Amaka, oh let's go. Ah! The village are angry. It's, it's, it's understandable. Because uh, Indubizi has finally, is finally marrying from another village. But what I would not want them to do is to take this matter to the extreme. Bam, 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 bam. Atora, so you believe I'm taking this matter to the extreme? See, listen to me. He claims he's getting married next tomorrow, but this same man is still luring our maidens to his bed. You don't believe me. Even as we speak right now, I have it on a very good note that he has taken Uzomili to his house. Yes. Uzomili? Which Uzomili? My own Uzomili? Or some other Zomili. I can't lie to you about this. Your own Zomili, of course. You don't believe me. I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you. This very evening I was with Zomili. And she told me that she was traveling back to her father's farm settlement. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. You see? You see why everybody in this village has to deal with him to peace? Not just the maidens alone. Even your own Zomili does not mean anything to him. 
You have to handle this. Listen to me. I will not lie to you at all. I don't agree with you, Adama. I find it difficult to believe you. Uzomini is in Ununu right now. And if you are planning, if you are planning to deal with Ndubuzu, I don't do it your own way. Don't get me involved. Please. I'm leaving. Uh, Adora, wait. Don't go, Biko. Don't go. See, listen to me. My name is Adama. Okay. You know me very well, as well as every other person in this community. I am not a busybody. Even if you don't believe me, why don't you go and verify? Let's go and verify now. Stop it. What do you think you're doing? I am betrothed to your friend at all. Why would you seek to sleep with me? Listen, from the way you're talking, it's a confirmation of the fact that you're still a virgin. So, if you know that I'm a virgin, why would you want to defile me? I'm here because you told me you'd be going to the bush. Mm -hmm. And that you will lead me to my father's settlement in Ununu. It is clear to me that you had other plans. Oh, no, 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 no. How can you say a thing like that? See, I'm a great hunter. But I don't go for all those small, small animals that move in the afternoon. I go for deathly animals that move at sunset. And we'll still go. See, now just give me what I want. Just come Wait, on. wait. Just wait, give me what I want. Wait, wait. wait. Let, let me be sincere with you. In the busy. Oh, was that your name again? Okay. You will not have me. And I will never, ever follow you to the bush. Oh, oh. It's, it's, it's obvious you want me to rape you. See, just do. I will do exactly what I've said I will do. See, I've done it before and I will still do it again. Just like that. Wait, wait, wait. You're not serious. Will you give it to me? Will you give it to me? You give it to me, or see how I'll be I'll be exactly as I've said. I've done it, Come on. Come on, lie down. You want to rape a woman betrayed to your best friend? Lie down, Joseph. Oh. Who is that? It's me, Adama. <sighs> Come on, we need to talk. How much this destroyed me you always want for me now? What is it? What? what? John, you have no shame. I told her, yes, my best friend. You want to sleep with all my friends before you close your legs? <laughs> what, can I, what is it? In the busy. Why, why, why do you want to punch me? Shut up! Just shut up! You have, you have nothing to explain to me because I was listening to the arguments you guys were having inside. So just shut up and don't provoke me. So this is you. This is you. After all, I did for you in this kingdom. You had the guts to lure my own woman into your heart. That you will sleep with her. Okay, why are you just concluding on something you, 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 you did not see? Shut up! Shut up! Oh! Let me see. So, what are you trying to tell me? If we did not at the time that we did, it would have been a different story. You would have raped my own woman that I was about to marry That's after the harvest. That is in the business. Are you? Are you? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I have every reason to be angry with you. But I will not be. But I want you to understand something that I'm completely disappointed in you. Completely disappointed in you that you could be so gullible. Easily cornered! Hey! Please, my lord, I am sorry. Please forgive me. You know, the road to Onono is very frightening. I planned to go with my friend, but she disappointed me. Along the line, I met Ndubizi. And he promised to lead me there. I don't want to hear any of that argument because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to me. Adora, please, it's okay. What is this? She didn't go to him. It wasn't the busy that I'm very angry right now. Eh? Very angry that I don't want to do anything. 
I don't want to do anything, something that I will regret later. Anyway, thank you for that information. Are you hearing me? Now, just take her home and you go home yourself. I'll see you tomorrow. Please, my love. Please. Don't say one more thing because I'm really angry. I am boiling at this moment. Don't provoke me beyond this point. Don't provoke me beyond this point. Don't worry, stand up. Don't worry, stand up. Don't cry again. Don't worry. Is she? The news is everywhere in this kingdom that Rosinaji is getting married to the oracle. And I am sure that it must be the chief priest of the oracle that caused that information to spread everywhere. I don't know what you think, but I'm telling you as my brother that I'm going to deal with that man. <sighs> my brother, what are you going to do? Do you know that Every person I told about the ceremony that is going to happen here next tomorrow declined the invitation. They said they will not dare the oracle. All of them said that they will not attend a ceremony where a woman that has been named the wife of an oracle is given to a man. So from... The look of things is going to be you and me. That will be there to give uh, our daughter, our daughter's hand away in marriage. When you when you sound this way, I I I only have this impression that you look down on me. Mm -mm. And then my brother, I'm not looking down on you. I'm only telling you the truth. The handwriting is on the wall. You and I are the only ones that are in this alone. You know, it is very clear to me that you are weak on this. And I'm telling you that I'm not even bothered. Because I can go all out alone. I was the one that saw the revelation. I saw the revelation and I know what I saw. The rape. And there is no way I will ever allow our Osinashi to be married to the oracle. Where she will be turned into a sex slave. It's not possible. Anene, my brother. I share your sentiments. But I want us to remember that here we are talking about the oracle. The oracle. And what about the oracle? What about the oracle? Which oracle? I took pains to investigate the bees of Omar. The only thing I found out is that he is a womanizer. No, you don't need to be surprised because I investigated him. A womanizer. His own level of irresponsibility is so high that he has practically slept with almost all the maidens in Omar. And then, if that is what you found out, why are we then going ahead with this ceremony? Because I can tell him, I can tell him, he's a human. I can tell him, pin him down where I want him to, to be. And then, I am not ready to give my one and only daughter to a man that has no respect for womanhood. I prefer him ahead of the oracle because he is a human. If after Marie knows Sinashi and he fails to treat her, the way she has to be treated, I will beat him up. It is better for us to allow Ndubizu to marry Osinashi because if the oracle marries her, we are helpless. What I give I bring you greetings from the throne. We greet you also. Um, so what do we owe the honor of this visit and greeting? The king would like to see you before the throne first thing tomorrow morning. Has anything happened? I'm only a messenger of the throne and I've delivered the message. 
do not fail to appear before the king. It is a matter of life and death. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? A matter of life and death. Eh? What does that mean? It means nothing. Is this why you stood? What are you, why, why, why? It's just a useless language that the king coined in the palace to intimidate us. I am not intimidated. And I wouldn't want my brother to be intimidated. Is it because of this 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 good love that he said? Is, is that why you stood? Oh no, tell me, I'm going to go on your My dear, you have to go home now. I will stop here. Thank you very much. Okay. I never knew what would have happened if he didn't come to my rescue. I never knew he was like that. Now you know. I do not want to stand here and discuss a low life like Ndubizu. But I don't know what you were thinking when you followed him all the way to his house. What were you thinking? He was supposed to take me to my father's farm settlement, you know. I go to his place and he started acting funny. I never thought of what he eventually started because he knows I'll be getting married to his best friend. That is because you don't know him. Now you know who he is. You have to be very careful. And pray that Atura forgives you. Do you understand? Good night, my dear. Thank you. Good night. What's it? Eh? Your face is not looking bright at all. Are you not going to tell me what the problem is? Hey, mom. I overheard your husband say some negative things about my husband to be. It just weakened me. Really? I can see there is a problem here. Can someone tell me what the problem is? Osina, she said she overheard you saying something negative about the young man of Umwaku that wants to marry her. Mm. Mamaka, my dear wife, can you please excuse us? Oh, no. Oh. Can you please tell me the negative thing you overheard me saying about the man of Omako? What are you doing there now? Come inside now. I'm waiting for you to go home tomorrow morning. You said I should come and tell you now. Are you going to stay and say, won't you come inside? I should come inside. Come inside and do what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to waste any time here. See, you have already seen me coming with you. I don't want to waste any time before they will start thinking of something else. Teacher, why are you doing this now? Just come inside now. Just come and come inside now. Come inside and do what? Okay, see, eh? see, 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 I'm going to do a sizable lump of meat tomorrow. Hey, what? What's your reason, Latam? Hey! See, just come and help me now. Just come, just come and help me. I should come and help you. Eh? Hey! Aro! Believe that you're under a curse. Me. <laughs> now I'm beginning to understand. Yeah. You can keep the money or you give it to my mother when you see her tomorrow. What's it, Urupa? What is the meaning of this? Why are you kneeling? Just to tell you how helpless I am. Just come and help me. Hey. If you leave me like this, I will not survive tomorrow. Just name just help me. 
Hey! Hey! Bikun, Bikun, hey. Just come and help me, Bikun. I never know it is this bad. Hey! You can never make me part of your cause. Hey! Yeah? Bikun, just come and give it to me now. Just give me just one. I, I, I should give it to you. I, I should give it to you. Take it now. Take it. I should give it to you. Useless man. Come and take it now. Take it. You don't want to take it anymore. Hey. Does it mean that the maidens of Umaku no longer like meat? How come I can't have any meat this night? Hey. I don't think I want to go on with that marriage. Why? Is it because I told you he isn't a woman? That is nothing, Osinashi. It is nothing. I sincerely believe that everything will become normal with him when he is married. <laughs> Since I was a child, I've always known the kind of man I want to marry. Nachi, I'm that man. Listen, Nachi, I, I find in you a complete woman. And when we become man and wife, you see, that will be the best thing that has ever happened to my life. I have a different orientation about marriage. Some say I'm too demanding. Nachi, listen. I am the great hunter from Omago. I have all it takes to satisfy your demands. My demands are not material things. I'm not one to demand material things. So, what is this demand? And what is this different orientation you have about marriage? Men of this town feel it's okay to marry many wives. Half the women of this village, if not all of them, actually share the same thoughts. But I don't. My husband will be mine and mine alone. And any man who gets interested in getting married to me would not desire another woman after marrying me. Never. That will never be a problem. See, I don't even want to marry more than one wife. See, that you are made into women. And if the gods bless me with a woman like you, why do I need another woman? What? Rotate around your head and throw it away. This will be our oath that you will never back out from what you have just promised today. 
never. I've always wanted a woman like you for a wife. I love you so much. And I want to promise that no other woman will ever come in between us. Love shines brighter than the sun. Two hearts are stronger when the beat as one. I'm angry because he lied to me. He told me that he was not a womanizer. And here you are confirming to me that he's a conk womanizer. How on earth am I going to get married to such a man? Okay. Would you rather then be married to the Oracle? I am not going to get married to the Oracle too. I will stay single until I see that man that fits my dreams. Oh, Nashi, you cannot do this to yourself. You cannot crucify this man because he isn't a woman. It does not make sense. Before I met my wife, my dear, I was also into women. But everything changed when I got married. And I believe the same thing will happen to this individual of Omar. We have to do everything possible to give you out in marriage to him before the full moon. Because you cannot afford to remain single until the full moon. If you remain single until the full moon, the oracle is going to take you by force. That is not the faith I want for my niece. Can't you just understand this? Your husband must be a human being, not a deity. Make up your mind, Osnashi, please. Please. We have not witnessed it before. That is why we believe that we can change it. But the truth is that nobody can change our tradition. Nobody. Go now. Go. The priest has already named your daughter, Osinaji, as the selected bride to the oracle. And she must be married to the oracle. Um, uh, Igwe. Osinachi is built to be married to a man from Umwaku village tomorrow. Eh? Maria, we talk about it. Tomorrow? Her mind is already made up concerning this marriage. Are you now telling us to cancel everything concerning the arrangement for that marriage? Is that what you are telling us? Okay. We can find an answer. Because we are confused about the whole thing. Why are you giving me the impression that you will disobey the oracle? Why are you still talking of the man from Umako? When I'm telling you that your daughter must be married to the oracle? Uh, I don't have time for all these things. I don't have time. Because I know that the tradition will descend heavily on you if you disobey this directive. Uh, uh, but your, your majesty, Yes. Have you forgotten the revelation I had, which I told you about? That your revelation is irrelevant. Because uh, I've inquired from the Uwefi Okolota, who is the, the, the encyclopedia of this arrival. And he told me that nobody, nobody can rape the wife of the oracle. So, Your Majesty, who is the man? that sleeps with this wife of the oracle or are you telling us mm. that the wife of the confirmed to you that the oracle does that himself the wife of the oracle makes her choice among the men that pay homage to her husband and she has the right even to invite a man to her heart if she becomes pregnant her child or children will be taken care of we cut out for by men and women of this kingdom. Eh? 
Now, I will give order as the king. The marriage of Osnachi to the Oracle must hold on the full moon. But, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Disobedience by anybody will amount to disobedience to royal order. And uh, I, I believe that uh, your family will not like to experience the rats of the king. I have spoken. He drinks, then we are free to drink our palm wine in peace. Wait a minute, man. You can be there, man. You can be there, man. I don't know. Oh, my God. What? What is he doing like this? He is a rapist. I never qualified to take that woman. What? A rapist? You remember the question I asked you at Omambara? I said, can a man face the future without first dealing with his past? That question you did not answer anything. You were caught in the middle. There is a living maiden, there is a dead maiden. You must have to deal with your past before dealing with your future. Or else, Elulu will reduce you to nothing. Hey! Have I not been vindicated? Nehemiah, have I not been vindicated? Control yourself as a man. Control your passions for goodness sake. But you never listen to me. I don't even know what I'm doing here. You're destroying my marriage. Why don't you tell them that I did not rape you? And what makes you think it is me? This is not all about me. You raped me with your eyes, remember? I have forgiven you. But there are other maidens you raped completely, thoroughly. And you feel you can get away with it. Evil man, that is who you are. But I want you to know that you cannot destroy that innocent maiden. This is not the same thing I've been telling you. Is this not the same thing I've been telling you? Deal with the rape before the marriage. But you will never heed to me. It's high time. Listen, it's high time I leave it to your troubles for you to face them alone. Hi. I told you that I did not rape her. I was on my way, mistakenly went to the Mambala uh, stream. I saw her taking her bath by mistake and I left. Why are they putting oh, oh, what I, I listened to everything they said, my friend. I listened and I'm sure that you were telling me everything. There's something you were telling us. We were thinking that you hey. could be managed. Hey! It, it is just very clear to us now that no family can manage. Ah, some so. Kere bonya si bia. Ah, some so. Ha! Ah, some so. Um, based on the information you gave me as regards the wife of the Arab, I summoned the father of the chosen maiden and issued him stern warning, stern warning to allow their daughter to be married to the Oracle. All the elders here can be any witness. It happened before us. Yes. I invited you here because it has come to my notice that my order has been violated. <sighs> they went ahead and organized a marriage ceremony for that maiden to be married to a hunter from Umar. Now I ask, what shall we do? What shall we do? Nothing. Hmm? What do you mean by nothing? The ways of the gods are different from the ways of men. Elulu is the electrifying god of Omambala people. He's making a move that has something to do with 
past evil of Hunter of Umwak. Uh, we should not even interfere. Are you possibly inferring that uh, we should leave them to continue this glaring rape of a royal order? Before the rape of the royal order, as you call it, there were series and series of proper rape of helpless maidens by the hunter of Umago. One led to death. And you know, evils do not go unpunished in Okole Kingdom. And indeed, in all the kingdoms that uphold the sanctity of the motherland, led a different thing be the obsession of this throne and not uh, the hunter of Umak. Elulu! Elulu! The elephant god of the people of Umama does not deal lightly with the rapist. And, and men who you who look at the nakedness of the women of Omamala. Ha! Any man, man can rape every other woman from every other village in this kingdom and go scot free. But no, no, no man, nobody can rape a woman of Omamala and go scot free. Man, it's not possible. So let me tell you, better deal with this rape. You're the one doing this. Do what? What do you mean? What did I do? Why are you punishing me for this? For a mistake? I told you that I did not come to that stream intentionally to look at your nakedness. It was the old man who led me and to And that man met you because he wanted you to look into your past so you can reshape your future. But you refused to listen to him. Anyway, that is not what I came here for. I came to tell you you will soon experience the agony of that innocent maiden. The agony of which innocent maiden? She told you she was returning from her purification. You see, sometimes I wonder the kind of beast you are. Thank you. 
You know, naturally, good singers are good dancers. See, I do not need your song. You are going to dance for me today. I'm sorry, but I don't know what you want from me. Listen, we'll go gently into the bush and you give it to me and you become my friend. Or I'll drag you into the bush by force take it from you and we become enemies. See, don't ask me to explain what it is that I want you to give me because you already know the choice is yours. My name is Amuma. I am a maiden of Umambala, returning from her purification. So? What I'm carrying here is the water for my sanctification because I will appear before Elulu this night. I am getting married tomorrow. Please, let me go. Are you, are you daring me or what? Move, move or I move you. It's like you didn't get what I just explained to you gently. I am just coming back from my purification because I'm getting married tomorrow. Please, let me go. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> How did you get to know all this? Nothing is hidden under the sun. Of all the maidens you have raped, that one remains the climax of your brutality, your barbaric life and wickedness. She was to appear before Elulu for sanctification that would lead her to marrying the oldest son of the priest of Elulu. She was seen unclean, defiled to marry the eldest son of the priest of Elulu. All because you raped her. All because of your wickedness. And now she killed herself because she couldn't stand the shame. Now her blood is up for vengeance. Please, I am on my knees. Make it easy for me. I am entirely a new man. I, I have gotten rid of the brutality of the past. Please. See, you are a beautiful woman. You can bail me out. See, I will make you my wife if you can avert the wrath of the uh, gods of Omambala people. Please help me. Ndubizu of Umwako. My name is Adugo, the daughter of Igo. You see, I know you. Your parents gave birth to you with two legs. And now, because of your stupidity, you are standing with one leg. What, 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 what do you mean by one leg? I have two legs, two legs. You see, you will soon discover that you have no legs at all. And a man of your kind cannot have a dugo of Omambala as a pride. Does it actually mean that you want me to get married to the Arabs? Nancy, please don't beg me because it will never happen. I'm only trying to open your eyes to certain realities. Please try and listen to me, okay? I'm listening, but I just don't get you. I mean, Indubidi is now history, so the only other option is the Oracle. I have my plans. I know what I want. I know the kind of man I want to get married to and the kind of life that I want to live. 
I know all that. And it does not include getting married to an Can you shut up and listen to me? Maybe this was never the best option. Because that wasn't what your mother wanted. You were only trying to match up to his status. That wasn't what your mother said. The man you would marry must have the fellowship of men. And he'll be the one that people pay homage to. Don't you get it? Exactly what I'm saying. That's the reason I said you want me to get married to the Oracle. Because he's the only one that has so much followership like you're talking about. And people worship him every single day. You want me to get married to the Oracle. I want to ask you a question. And I want you to be honest with me. If it were the Oracle that your mother was referring to, won't you make your mother happy by marrying the Oracle? Never. Why are you shouting never? Never. Why? Never. Have you thought about life as the wife of the Oracle? Have you? I know what it is like. Until, as a matter of fact, I have seen it in my dreams. The wife of the Oracle is being confined to this little hut with some maidens who are going to take care of her until they get married. And they will take care of her until she dies. And she's never allowed to leave that cottage until she dies. Until I would not be able to live my life like that. No. I can't. The wife of the oracle remains the only wife to the oracle. He can't marry two women at the same time. Auntie, have you ever asked yourself, how does the wife of the oracle get sexually satisfied? She's been raped. Raped by the priest of the oracle. You think I'm just gonna lie my body down so they can just molest me and rape me? The wife of the oracle enjoys the best in the land. The best of men and the best of everything. You have the license to change men and no man will ever play games with you. I want you to cancel rape from your mind because it's not possible for any man to rape the wife of the oracle. The oracle will kill the man instantly. See beyond sentiments and understand that your mother actually wanted you to be the wife of the oracle. He has the fellowship of men and he's the one that people pay homage to. Hmm? You may be a woman. Hmm? Please think about it, okay?
we have come to you this night. Because you are the one person that can save us from the wrath of the king. Mm -hmm. um, we disobeyed him. And it is our belief that uh, he's going to vent his anger on us. Please. Eze Igweze is a man of tradition. Whatever he doesn't know, he asks questions. That is the quality of a good leader. He has already asked me what to do to you. And I told him to leave it for the gods. But Obwefi, that is where it becomes too risky. The gods of this land are very deadly. And we know that if you fail to come into this matter as the one who is the chief custodian of our customs and traditions, the gods of this land might, might, they might kill us. Yes. And this is why we took the risk of traveling all the way from Uzouno this night to come to you and plead with you to please help us. The moon shall become full soon. Do what the priest has asked you to do. Everything will be fine. Obwefi, are you insisting that Usinachi must be married to the oracle? Who am I to insist on anything? Eh? The priest had chosen somebody for the uh, oracle, and that person is Usinachi. Eh? So, be ready to give the oracle what he wants. Or, it starts your gradual destruction. Should I tell you the truth? I am now becoming wary of associating with you. Because you have suddenly become a disgrace. You are a disgrace. Please tell me why you called me out here. Or I'll be forced to leave you now. You, you know you are the only friend I have in this town. But tell that to the birds. If, I, if you help me as your true friend in this town, you would never have planned to sleep with my fiance, your best friend's fiance. You, you, you planned this because you have no conscience. You have no conscience. Now who's going? Who's going? Please tell me why you called me out here. I don't want to remember what you did. See, see here. Nah, and the, the, way, the way you're, you're talking, it looks as if you, do, you, you you never want to help me again. So, yeah? what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do now? See, I now understood what that old man meant when he said that you cannot face the future unless you deal with your past. There was something I did in the past that is now hurting me. Something you did. Well, what did you do? See, four years ago, before the feast of Odaro, I raped an Omambala maiden. What? Yes. You you did what? So many things were just happening to me that I, I, I was doing so many things that I, I at the point. I was wondering what I was thinking. You know, I raped her. And I finally found out that she was betrothed to the son of the priest of Elu. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. The problem now is that she eventually killed herself when the son of the priest of Elu refused to marry her. Now they said her blood is upon my head. I'm so confused. In the busy. In the busy. I'm not going to be part of this. I, I, wait, 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 wait. I, I will I, not be part I, of I, this. I, 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 listen, listen. You are the only friend I have. You are the only one I can 
want to. See, all I want from you is just to accompany me uh, uh, to the shrine of, uh, to the oracle of Elulu. That's all I want you to do for me. Please, speak on me. Atwara! Do this alone. Huh? Oh, boy. We are here before you to start building what we destroyed. We analyzed our past actions and um, we've come to realize that we didn't get it right at all. That's why we are here. We had expected you as the father of the named bride to have appeared before the shrine and make demands for the money with which you prepare your daughter for the marriage to the oracle. Rather, you urgently planned to give your daughter out to that the best hunter of Omak. And I wonder why men should elect to give out a decent woman to a man morally bankrupt and debased. Obefi Fele, please forgive us. Please. We never knew he was debased. If you don't shut up your mouth now, I will deal with you heavily. You are the brain behind this disobedience. And I want to ask you, who do you think you are that you can stand in the way of this oracle? Oh, if you fail, please tamper justice with mercy. We have already, we, 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 we already approached uh, Obu Efi Okolota. And he asked us to appear before the oracle and start in time to correct the blunder we committed. That's why we are here. Anyamarapano. Please. We are here as a family to beg for forgiveness and also to inform you that we have made up our mind as a family to bring you Sinashi before the oracle at full moon for the marriage. My dear man, Biko. Bita Bego. Mbamba, Oguadia, Mbamba. Mbamba, Oguadia, Mbamba. Oh, the Ajolo, but that they go. This is of what they go. Use it to prepare your daughter for the marriage to the oracle. Hmm? She must be made to appear as a queen, for that is what she would become. Thank you very much. We shall do your bidding. No. If you could look again, man. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, I'm finding it very difficult to understand what you're doing here. Ndubis, what are you doing here? Everyone has abandoned me. Don't also abandon me. See, that you are my last hope. Me? Hey. See, it seems to me that you're gradually falling into the same pit you dug for innocent maidens. How am I your last hope? Tell me. <laughs> Stay where you are. You will not be surprised to hear that I raped the maiden. See, you have been the one defending the maidens oh. of this land. Indubizu, I am not here to battle words with you. Go straight to whatever it is that brought you here. That is what I want to hear. Okay. One of the maidens I raped in Omambala finally took her life. You are not serious. I'm just getting to know. I, they said her, her, her blood is asking me for justice. Hey, 
Hey, Mdu, it is finally clear to me that our gods and the ancestors of our land have decided to rise and defend us from your hand. Hey! Hey! Adam no maluma no muako. Mazi. Please, can I have a word with you? Yes. Yakana. I don't know why you call me. <clears throat> the oracle shall be getting married next tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I came to tell you that you are the one you are expecting to organize the maidens to the square of the oracle. Mazi, you've already received words from the king to that effect. And the maidens are ready for the occasion. Oh, that is good to hear. Uh, do you still remember what the man with the dreaded Oji master told you about the man standing alone? There are men who believe that they are standing with people, whereas they are standing alone. Daughters of Umaku should not gather to discuss the end of a man who is standing alone. Yes, I do. He said that maidens of Umaku should not gather anywhere to discuss about the man who is standing alone. Yes. Well, I don't need to tell you that Ndubiz is the man standing alone. Yes. He has to appear before the dreaded Eluludeity of Omambala to answer those questions. As long as he has not come there to answer those questions, I advise you to stop talking with him. I've set my mind. The choice is yours. And I'm... Why are they dragging me deeper and deeper into the politics of this land? I am not a man. What are you still doing here? Get out. Get out of my compound. Wait, is that what he, he, he came to tell you? We're just having a discussion. Are you, you can't I, just... I am not here to discuss with you. I have told you what I want to tell you. There are questions like I heard that you need to, to, to answer at the dreaded Elimu Shrine. Go there and answer whatever question there is you have to answer. And do not bother me again. Just go. That's exactly why I came. I've gone around everywhere. Nobody wants to help me. Nobody wants to accompany me. I've come to beg you so that you can accompany me to the dreaded enemy shrine. Hey! Into me, accompanying you to that shrine. You must be a joker. Listen to me. You are a dreamer. Do not come back here again. I have warned you. Don't ever come back here again. Get out. In your busy. I said, get out. Don't come back here again. The next time you come here again, I will pour hot water on you. Stupid, useless man. Women cluster around you because of your meat. Get out from this compound! Wait! Go away! Go! What is it? Go away! Go away! Go away! Si bien 
Listen to me. Do you know the implications of what happened? What happened? What, what implications? Now, listen. The oracle rejected a woman. And then, who will marry a woman rejected by the oracle? Oh, nega, no, ya. My worry in all of this. Is this why will all this be happening to my family? Why will it happen to my only daughter? Why? Kusinachi, why didn't you tell me that you were the maiden that was appointed for the oracle? Even if I did, what would you have done? I've been fighting a big battle within myself. I knew I was never ready for marriage. And I kept wondering how I was going to cope. Eventually, when I tried to give in to all these things, and you saw what happened today. It was a total disaster. No matter what happens, don't give up on yourself. There's nothing the world can ever do to salvage a maiden that gives up on herself. I saw what happened today. And I know how you feel right now. But don't see this as the end of the world. For what lies ahead is greater than what you've seen. Ponder on these words. Go into your room and sleep, okay? I'll come again within the week to see you. Please. Promise me that you would never tell your brother that I was the maiden that was rejected. Please. that you're not telling me. Ever since I came in here this morning, you have been weak. Is it because the oracle rejected the maiden? The incompetent oracle priest wanted to force down his throat. How could you, Ibuze, how could you refer to a wayful fellow as an incompetent priest of the oracle. How could you? His incompetency showed at the square last night. The priest gave this 
secret friend, the beautiful maiden of Ozono. And the oracle rejected her. Do you know what that means? It means that the chief priest chose the wrong maiden. And why would the chief priest choose the wrong maiden? It's because he's incompetent. He is very incompetent. This is a man of whom I'm working on. What's he doing in Mokwele? I told you that I will break all odds and pay you a visit in you know, Okwele. Finally, I am here now. I want you to dismiss your left tenants because I want to talk to you alone. Never! Mm -hmm. You are violating the laws of the land by entering this kingdom. Udakreya is the leader of our youth. And there is no one who will let you talk to him alone. Yes. Permit me to finish this man. I'd love to be left with this man alone. He wounds it. Stand. But I'm pleading with you, Nachi. R remember all we shared together. The oath, the love we nursed. I'm pleading with you. Let us forget the past and move ahead. Move ahead? Move ahead to what? You know, as man and wife. I heard you raped a maiden. And that she eventually ended up killing her own self. How? How do you think I'm supposed to get married to a man like that? How? How? <sighs> Nachi, I have completed all the necessary ritual that I'm supposed to do to be free and marry again. I hurried everything because of you. Listen, I even heard of the rejection by the gods. And I knew you would never be happy about it. I was glad, Nachi. Nachi, you know why it happened? It happened because our ancestors want us to live together. Please, Nachi, I am pleading with you. I am. Please. See, I, I almost got ruined. Everything was just working against me using maidens. But I have overcome all that. I'm a new man now, Nachi. A new man. And I'm ready to have a wife. Nachi, you are that wife. Please forgive me. I'm pleading with you. I, I, I have to be very sincere with you. You're getting me all confused. How can you say that you are the one who stopped the marriage of the maiden to the oracle? Please, don't, don't think or, or feel that I am underestimating you. But who are you to do that? <laughs> Ask your sister and she will tell you what happened. A way of your culture, the present wise man in your kingdom, who advises the king on the issues of customs and tradition, said that the marriage was stopped by the moon. You people call us the children of the moon. Omuawa. It is not just an ordinary name. We are actually the children of the moon. I asked the moon to stop the marriage, and that was exactly what she did. She descended to wise. 
and knocked off the symbol of authority from her hands. <laughs> Well, let me assume that you actually got the moon to do that. But why would you do that? Do you even know the medium they wanted to give to the oracle, my boy? I, I know she's a, a maiden from Uzon of village, but I do not know her. <laughs> no, my boy. You got it all wrong. You know her. You have discussed with her. You have even advised her. And right as I'm sitting with you here, she's the one right inside your heart. I don't know what you're talking about. So. <laughs> that maiden is the best. And that was why the oracle wanted to take her. I use the moon to stop the marriage. Because that is the only way I can pay you for saving my life. What are you doing? Don't tell me you're living. <laughs> That maiden is the best in Okwele Kingdom. You are also the best. You deserve the best. And nothing but the best. Go for her. My dear sister, can you tell me what a wave your color just said about the moon during the aborted marriage? Why are you so curious about what the wise man said? I am curious because the man from Umongwa, who just left here now, said some things that triggered a lot of sensations. He said you heard the man. Tell me, my dear sister. You cannot hide anything from me. What did the man say? I'm going to repeat his exact words. The moon is mightier than the oracle. And that's why the oracle waits for the full moon to take a wife. The oracle needs the blessing of the moon because he knows without the moon, his wife is nothing. Right before our eyes, the moon has freed this maiden because her heart is somewhere else. Those were his words, and even the king got confused. Who is this maiden? Who is she? I'm sorry, my brother, but I can't answer that. Uh, my, 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 my dear sister, Chige Penante, why are you doing this to me? Why would you want to leave? What is it that you're not telling me? Promise me that you would never tell your brother that I was the maiden that was rejected. Talk to me. I promised her not to tell you. Why are you pushing me? My dear sister Chige Kunante, remember all the risks I have taken for you. Those I'm yet to take. Talk to me. Tell me. Who is this maiden? Osinachi of Uzono. The same Osinachi that came looking for you. She was the one selected to be the wife of the Oracle. But the moon stopped the marriage. This is exactly what she feared you would do. If you get to know she was the one. She forced me to promise not to tell you. But I finally did because I know my brother is a warrior. 
Njakili, do not betray me. They said she was the best. That I deserve the best. <laughs> I told him, okay. mm, <laughs> you know, do you know why I'm excited? Mm. I told her, my friend, just at the time I was thinking that the gods and ancestors of this land have abandoned me. I told her. They are now smiling at me. Lenum. Individual, <laughs> <laughs> you my good friend. Huh? This kind of excitement is not ordinary. Tell me. Tell me what happened. I am getting married. You are getting married? <laughs> to who? Onyekwan? Osinachi! <laughs> See, she is the wife the gods and ancestors of this land prepared for me. Eh? That was why they stopped her marriage to the oracle. Atora, listen to me. Listen to me. See, tomorrow, I want you to accompany me to Ozuno for the marriage. See, all my frustrations will all be over tomorrow. How? Are you okay? Don't tell me you are insane. No, go and make it. Listen, that maiden knows that you are a rapist. No, no, no. Atu yes, you are a rapist. Atwara. And a murderer too. Atwara. There is no way she would get married to someone like you. Atwara, At 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 Atwara, kind of Atwara, At listen to me. Please get that thing out of your mind. Get it out of your mind. You no longer have right to call me any of those names. I have performed all the necessary uh, uh, rituals needed for my cleansing and I'm free. Listen, even the dreaded Elulu priest wished me success in life. Look, I, I know, see, I told her, let us just keep our problems, uh, our differences, let's just keep them in the past. You are my only friend and I just want you to accompany me to Ozuno tomorrow. Look, my friend, you have to forget about that trip. What? Just just yesterday, I was talking with another man. Oh. And I found out that that girl is still in love What's with it? you. She loves you. I'm telling you. I told her, see, see, why are you talking about Adam? See, I have reconciled with us in Achi. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. Our Dhamma uh -huh. is the devil we already know. Wise people would choose her over us in Achi. Mm. That so called angel of uh, Uzono that we don't even know yet. I hear you. Forget about that meeting of Uzono that has already been connected with the oracle. Can you imagine that? <laughs> and Maria Adama, she loves you very much and she can do anything. She's ready to die for you any day, any time. <laughs> quote me. I'm your good friend. Quote me anywhere. Hey, Agogo. Uh, listen, listen. It's obvious you, she sent you to tell me this. Go and tell her that she cannot get me. Did you hear me? Listen, Adora, leave all this Adama thing. I want you to accompany me to Uzuno tomorrow and witness the marriage between, you know, the love of my life and I. What are we talking about? I should be asking you that too. <laughs> yeah.
Bien. Who are you? My name is Njakele. Njakele Nili Onyujo of Ukehe. I have come to take Osinachi home as my wife. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> the moon had promised to give me the best maiden in Okwele Kingdom as my wife. Osinachi is the best maiden. <laughs> And that is why the moon refused to have her tied to the oracle. Um, please, let us obey the moon. Amen. I don't understand what this man is saying. Me too. My daughter is expecting a suitor from uh, Umuako village. Ndubizu. Ibutanya. Ndubizu is the man we are waiting for. So I don't understand. Uh, can you go and call me your late wife's sister? Boy, and our barrage. But I'm tired of the Yes, she comes. No. Now, can you tell us what your late sister told you about the man that would marry her daughter? He must be a man that has massive respect among men and one to whom people pay homage. Hey, she was Jacqueline, you know, you know, you know, the man she saw. He has all his followers and men that pay homage to him. He is right when he said that the moon stopped the marriage because of him. He came prepared, as we see, and is ready to fulfill all marriage rights. So he must be allowed to marry his wife. What are we going to do? Bring her. You that one. Yeah, she comes. Oh, there is a man of Fuke. He has come. He claims that uh, he is the man that must marry you. I don't know him. Imonyo. I don't know him. I've never seen him before. But our sage here, Obuefi Okulocha, has affirmed what he said. I called you here to ask you in front of all of us here. Do you know him? Imonyo. I know him. <laughs>
I've been waiting for him for so long to make this move. He's mm. the one that my heart wants. He's the one I want to get married to. Um. I give her to you as a wife. Go and discuss with the family and fulfill all necessary rights. <laughs> 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 She is your wife. Huh? Go home with her and marry her. We are all wishing you a happy married life. Huh? Child! 
Atoramonim. Hmm. Can you remember what I told you? That our own Adama that we know already is way better than this maiden from Uzuno that we don't even know. Atoramonim. We planned it together. They were the ones who asked me to come today. But you can see with your eyes that they are already marrying her to another man. Chai! Chim! Oh, dogu wala panabo! Was he gonna for pa? If any name's a lezo, I put a Hi! Ndubuzu of Umako. I apologize for my actions. I performed all the rituals I was meant to perform. I was even blessed by the priest of Elulu. And he asked me to carry on. Why are they marrying my woman to another? Why? You see, she is married to another because she doesn't belong to you. That maiden is not yours. Adama of Umwako here is a woman you said you loved. Marry her now and be sure that your future is tied to the ones you ruin. Not to the one that remains steadfast all her life. Ndubizu of Umwako, take my advice and make up your mind. I am a new man. I have been purified by the gods. Please accept me and I'll have reasons to leave. Please. I'm happy for you. Hmm? Adama, I'm happy for you. 